If you're like me, pushing Google Docs out to uh, participants in a workshop or your classroom is a really useful thing to do. And the best feature in Google Docs for doing this is the template gallery. When you submit something to the template gallery, um, here's what it looks like. So I'm going to take a normal Google Doc here. This is a lesson planning template. And if I were to push this out to everybody, um, in order for them to put it in their own Google Drive, they'd have to say file and make a copy. So you can submit it to the template gallery. And when you do that, you get this button here at the top. And the moment a participant or a student clicks this, it downloads this into their um, own personal Google Drive. So it bypasses the need for them to make a copy. It's a really useful thing. But sometimes the template gallery is a little finicky and doesn't work that well. Um, so there needs to be a way to make a doc into a template without submitting it to the template gallery. And that's what this tutorial is about. So um, right here I have the normal Google Doc I just showed you. And here I have the template version. And I have highlighted the regions that are different. So up here to google.com, um, you see this document slash lowercase d slash. You need to replace that with this preview template question mark ID equals amount. And here at the end, you see this slash edit. You just need to replace that with and mode equals public. And if you do that, it'll turn it into a template. So let me show you how to do it here. Here I have just a blank document. I've called this document just template example or test template. Notice it's not a template yet. I'm going to convert it into a template really quick. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy the URL. Okay. And I'm going to replace this whole document slash thing here with preview template question mark ID equals. All right, so I did that. I'm just following up here. And then I'm going to take out this edit thing. I'm going to put and mode equals public. That should do it. Let's copy it and see if it's a template. Yep, there it is. So I'd say use this template. I click that, download it directly to my own template gallery. CSS copy of test template. There it is.